Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are we getting on? So it is Halloween weekend, and Bethesda have just announced that they are upping the ante somewhat for the Halloween events this weekend. So we've got a couple of updates to look at, and a couple of little reminders as well, so let's jump in. Okay then, so yes, Halloween weekend. So, as we know, we've got a couple of events running at the moment, and Bethesda are somewhat upping the ante on these, and uh, increasing the spookiness for the weekend, which should be good fun to uh, celebrate the actual Halloween weekend rather than the, the whole spooky season. So, let's have a look at what they've got for us, along with a couple of other reminders as well, so this shouldn't take too terribly long. So, epic uh, Wendigo moment there. Somebody's about to have a very bad time. However, happy Halloween! This week we've got some spine-chilling updates to share with you about our ongoing spooky scorched and trick-or-treating events. If you're an Xbox Game Pass Ultimate member, we've also got details on how you can get your hands on some sweet loot. And finally, we've included reminders about PTS testing, as well as our latest double score weekend, which begins today. So, let's dive in! Spooky event updates. Obviously, these are the events that are running at the moment. They are getting uh, a little buff for the Halloween weekend, which is very, very cool. Should make for a fun time for those who are diving in over the weekend. So there's an eerie feeling creeping over Appalachia as we draw near to the most haunting holiday of the year. Even the Spooky Scorch can feel it, and they've recently been recruiting even more members to their ranks in anticipation of Halloween. Prepare to blast your way through lots more costumed Scorched because we are greatly increasing their spawn rate from 12 p.m. Eastern Time, which is 16 Universal Time, or 17 5 p.m. UK Time, actually, on Saturday, October 30th, until the same time on Monday, November 1st. We hope you managed to fill up on plenty of sweet treats and grab some themed loot this Halloween weekend. So yeah, as of um, tea time Saturday for us in the UK, lunchtime for those of you in the US, You'll be able to pick up even more Spooky Scorched. The uh, map should be crawling with them. Uh, as to exactly how and where they're going to spawn, they haven't specified. My guess on this would be that um, it'll be the same setup as it currently is, in that they'll only spawn where Scorched spawn. Um, I suspect that'll be the easiest way of doing it, and they'll just increase the number of them that spawn in those locations. So instead of finding one or two, or four or five if you're really lucky, uh, you'll find way more. So uh, if you want to get uh, your hands on those plans, or uh, farm that living daylight out for legendaries, which is also a good opportunity, this weekend will be the time to do that. So uh, dive in. So, uh, we already covered this next point in uh, the previous video, so uh, I can link to that as well in the top corner if you're interested in catching up on it, but a uh, quick reminder. Last week we were hearing from the community that the trick-or-treating challenge to give out candy felt a bit difficult with everyone being so busy hunting spooky scorched and doing their own trick-or-treating. In case you missed it earlier in the week, we made a couple of changes to the trick-or-treating event based on your feedback. First, you now only need to give out one piece of mystery candy per day from your spooky candy bowl in order to complete the daily challenge, where previously it was five. I, you need other players to do this, it's not something you have any control over yourself. Although, of course, do make sure your camp is um, publicly displayed on the map. Um, they have reduced that to a single one, as I say, so that's uh, much, much easier, so only one person needs to visit and claim some candy. Do make sure you're co topping up your spooky candy bowls, though. Myself and a couple of other people have commented on this as well, but um, we've been noticing that quite a lot of people's bowls are ending up empty, so if you grab them, chuck it all in there. The puffs are nice to have if you eat the candy, but, um, you know, chuck a handful in there, there's plenty of it around. <laughs> Just make sure. So, in addition, we've extended the entire Spooky Scorched event, including the Trick or Treat challenges, by an extra week, so everyone has more time to earn the challenge rewards. In short, if you didn't manage the first week, you've got an additional week to do it, which was uh, kind of necessary with the other updates. So, it'll be running through till the 11th now, I believe it was. No, November 9th. I do apologise. So, uh, we've still got uh, two weeks to have a crack at this, or so just under two weeks. Let me just do a quick bit of maths. So yes, so if you haven't seen this already, this uh, change to the Trick or Treat Daily and also therefore the Weekly and the Event Challenge to get you the popcorn machine. As of today, you will need to make sure that in order to complete the first week, I suppose now, or at least this week, that uh, you are getting somebody around your camp every day, because five days less before this week in, in game terms ends, obviously it's uh, a Tuesday turnover for Fallout. So uh, make sure you're diving into it if you haven't already. And then, of course, you've got the whole of the week afterwards, which previously we didn't have, so that's very, very cool. 
So let's jump a little ahead on the uh, blog post here, which of course I will link down below as always, and we'll jump to the next event that's focused on this weekend, which is Double Score. So uh, good time for it, given that there's events and stuff running and extra challenges and so on. But before we wrap up this edition of Inside the Vault, yeah, we're skipping ahead, so you know, we'd like to show a reminder that we're kicking off a Double Score weekend a little later today, 12 p.m. Eastern and uh, 5 p.m., not 4 p.m., UK time. So uh, by the time this video goes up, that will be live. You can jump in and give your season rank a boost. Be sure to take on as many daily challenges as you can until Monday. Each one you complete will grind twice the normal amount of score, which means you'll be able to rank up and claim season rewards even faster than usual. So, very, very cool. I'm quite happy about this as I'm in the, the final 15 or so ranks, I think, now. So, uh, obviously those are the hardest ones to get. The extra boost will be kind of nice now. It should mean that I get this finished in pretty good time and I'll have a little bit of downtime, which will be pleasant, because... Um, the, when the seasons are the right length and everything fits quite well, it's cool. But um, having downtime between the seasons is also nice. I mean, as much as it's nice to be kept busy, you know, a little bit of a break is always good. So, yeah, double score this weekend. Jump in, grab it while you can, and you can combine it with hunting those spooky scorched as well, which is also very cool. So, jumping back up again, we have a couple of reminders. So, in the past, uh, last week, week before maybe, we talked about the bundle that is available on Twitch Prime. It is still available over there if you have all of that and you've got your Bethesda account linked to Twitch. But it seems there is another version of it that is linked to Xbox Game Pass. And I think this is a different bundle. I think there's more in the Game Pass one than the Twitch Prime one, which would make sense as in-house, you know. But um, nonetheless, here it is. If you're an Xbox Game Pass Ultimate member, I wanted to share a reminder that there is a Fallout 76 perk waiting for you right now. Claim the Survival Bundle before December 31st, so you got to the end of the year, plenty of time, to stock up on consumables that will help you prepare for your next adventure. As well as add several stylish cosmetic items to your collection, like the Mr. Fuzzy Backpack skin. And here's a look at everything you'll receive. So this is slightly... no, it's exactly the same as the other one, but with some extra stuff in it. So we've got six lunchboxes, six free repair kits, six free bubble gum, and six carry weight boosters, and six scrap kits. Those are the additional ones in the Game Pass version. I say that's Game Pass Ultimate. And uh, you've also got the three things that were in the one over on Twitch Prime, which is the Red Steel Crusader paint, Crusader Pistol Paint, rather, uh, the Brotherhood of Steel Wallpaper, which is quite nice, particularly if you're doing a Brotherhood of Steel-themed camp, and a Mr. Fuzzy Backpack, so you should be able to see that about now. Anyway, so uh, yeah, if you've got the uh, Game Pass Ultimate, grab that one, get some freebies, and if you haven't, you can always jump over to uh, Twitch Prime if you have that one, and grab at least the uh, paints and skins and the backpack and that sort of stuff, so yeah, freebies are always good. And last but not least, join us in the PTS. So I'm sure you guys know this, but, uh, the PTS is running. It's only available, as per usual, to players who are playing by Bethesda Net on PC. So uh, the rest of you are unfortunately not in luck there. But if you do own Fallout 76 on PC through Bethesda Net, jump in and try out the Night of the Moth update in the PTS. It's basically the update that's coming in December with the big uh, Mothman Equinox event, which is very, very cool, and uh, a whole load of quality of life changes as well. We have touched on that in the past, and I'll try and link that video in the corner for you if you want a bit more info. Of course, there's the uh, Bethesda Discord, which is linked in this post, which, as I say, down below. If you do want to check it out, that's got uh, all the information on it and uh, is the place to go for reporting your feedback, if you would like to. So, uh, the upcoming Mothman Equinox seasonal event is available to play every hour at the top of the hour, and there are plenty of quality of life and public event improvements to check out. Yeah, public events are getting a bit of a rebalance in terms of their timers, so hopefully that will mean less downtime with no public events to engage with, which is great if you're farming those legendary cores or uh, gold bullion, which is also handy. Don't forget to join uh, the Discord server to share your feedback with us. As always, we'd like to thank everyone who's taken part in the PTS so far. We've been reviewing your feedback closely throughout playtesting, addressing issues you've been reporting. They have been updating quite regularly, to be fair, about once a week. And we greatly appreciate all of the thoughts and experiences you've been sharing. Keep it coming. So there we go. Nice little uh, update on the events this weekend. Extra spooky scorched if you want to uh, chase down those plans or legendaries. I think the latter is more what I'll be doing, since I think I've got all the plans that you can get now. Maybe one or two are missing, but I think I've got them all. I need to check in game, really. It's quite a long list. But yeah, I've had a, a fairly productive time hunting that, so uh, definitely going to be fun to di dive in over the weekend and farm the living daylights out of those uh, spooky scorch, which will be fun. And double score is always welcome as well, give you a little boost on the season. As I say, a little downtime at the end of this one would be nice, because the last couple of seasons, they were kind of spot on the right length of time that you needed to complete it. It was doable faster, but uh, generally through normal, sensible play, 
they were pretty much a, a close fit, so the downtime was pretty minimal between them. So having a little bit longer to complete this one makes it easier for those who've got limited time available, especially in the run-up to Christmas, thinking about it. And uh, for those who finish a bit early, a little bit of time to take a rest, which is yeah, not such a bad thing, I don't think. So, yeah, very, very cool. Couple of fun things. I do need to check out the PTS at some point and get a little uh, sneak preview of the upcoming event, because I'm looking forward to trying out that Mothman Equinox event. It, uh, I'm getting the impression it should be good fun and quite an interesting thing to engage with. Kind of somewhat similar in the way it functions to Meet Week, in that it's top of the hour, every hour kind of deal. And yeah, very spooky and uh, wintry seasoned with the... The Mothman making his little appearance as well, which should always be cool, so looking forward to that. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you found this useful and informative. If you did, please do consider dropping subs and likes on me. I do hugely appreciate it. Down below the video, apart from all the links I mentioned earlier, you can also find my social media links, the merch store, and channel memberships as well if you're interested in supporting the channel that way. I do very, very much appreciate that. A massive thanks to everyone who's done that already. And if you get the chance, do join us for the live streams as well. We are, of course, playing 76. And this evening, we'll be jumping back into The Witcher, which will be episode two after the downtime of uh, playing Deathloop, which was also good fun. And if you want to catch up on that, there's a playlist for it as well. And I strongly recommend you do. It was cool. Had a lot of fun with that one. So do join us for those. But for now, thank you very much for watching. And I look forward to speaking to you all very, very soon.